Hey guys, it's Lily and today I'm going to be doing a video basically on my art supplies. Sorry, I'm not in focus. There we go. My art supplies tour and collection. So this, as you can tell, is my art area. I don't have a big area at all. It's right beside my door, kind of. So it just tells that I don't need a huge room or a room to store all my art supplies even though I have a bunch of stuff in these baskets and they're all jumbled up together all in these baskets and I'm still waiting for more storage supply but I can still have this big area and build up along that side but I just want a small area so yeah this is my area this is basically by underneath storage system underneath the table by the side of the table and then by the very side near my makeup organizer that followed by a table like right here um this is what i do a lot of my eyes applying on um but most of the time i kind of not do it in my room because i need a lot of space so i kind of just do it on the kitchen table downstairs anyway let's just get started so let's just start with this section like right here so I have my baskets piled up like drawers but I really kind of want to get some cups because putting them in these baskets is really annoying but I also kind of want a large rack going up or like a drawer set that goes up into many different drawers so I can store different stuff because it's very annoying for myself to have all these baskets stacked um, and I need to like get up all these and get the basket out that I need but um, yeah so I'm gonna be probably getting cuts but this is a good storage system now for me we're gonna start with the top on top I have this white basket and it just has a bunch of sorry guys um, sets wrapped together and then the bottom we have my oil pastels and um, Crayola colored pencils. I do have some other colored pencils up here at the moment. I have the W. H. Smith. I do have some others in a pencil case. And I do have some Stadler ones. Okay, guys, I don't know what that sound is, so just don't worry about that. I'm just gonna go through what each in basket. So they're not really stacked in how much I love them or anything. They're not stacked in any order, um, but this one has to be on top. Um, in here we have some felt tips. In here we also have, okay, let's just put those back in there. Sorry guys, just don't worry about those sounds. Um, we got some fine liners in here and some paint. Um, we have some sharpies in here, permanent. Brush tips. In here we have some Stedler colored pencils, but these colored pencils have the black lining on them. I have two packs worth in here. For some reason I have this. Uh... Okay, I have that covered pen here. Fine liner, okay. And here we have the Stella colored pencils and my Luxol pens. Okay, I'm just gonna put that there because it's gonna fall down. It's gonna switch hands. Yeah, Stella the good and my Luxol pens. In here is kind of like my accessories one. I have some crafting scissors. I have um, permanent marker, this pen, a glue stick. Some of my Scribblelicious colored pencils. I love these um, Scribblelicious. They're really nice. They have a nice little effect to them. I have my Tenerife pen with crystals and stylus on the end. Oh God, this Tenerife. And in here I also have um, one of my pencils that I love to use. It is the uh, Quartered Black HB Pencil. 
I really like the HBs, the sketching, light sketches, or just sketches that I need to go darker than the shade. So I just go over with that and then go into detail with either my. I don't know what type of leads these are, but um, these are mechanical pencils with rubbers on the end. And they're really nice because they're quite, you can go quite dark with them, they wouldn't snap. And they have a very nice steady lead. You only need about one, two pumps to get a good amount. And then here we have my favourite coloured pencils. Um, these are, this is the 48 set because I didn't, I forgot to get the, um, Sorry guys, the six, uh, the 72 set, but I wanted to get the 72 set, I just got it for my birthday. This is 501, this is a white, just for instance. Um, they're in number order, not colour order. So, um, not in um, like the number of the colour how bright it is, it's just there, I mean, 510. So 510, and then we have my Crayolas. Uh, super tips these are good actually um, they have super tips because in here they have a you can draw thin and thick with this nib As you can see there's a thin and a thick meaning you can do a really awesome art picture or art supply thing with the marker Let's not get the link up. But okay, so Crayolas, and then in here I have my Crayola crayons. I probably wouldn't touch any other crayon than that because I just know these are good and non-toxic. Because I don't, I do not like the too much of the texture of um toxic ones, and they just don't work as well. But the Crayola ones are non-toxic and very nice. I also have more WH Smith pencils in here, but these are a pack that I newly just bought. You can get a really good sharp on them. I did get a newly just new pack of pencils of the WH Smith because I find that WH Smith ones are really nice. I just use them a lot. Like I had these, I uh, had a pack all through year four and five semester I think and those are all of my baskets so I'm just gonna put those oh I didn't go through here you know so I have my Stedler colored pencils my some of my WH Smith colored pencils I have my twistable Crayola color pencils I also have a white and silver right there that actually has some metallic packaging so you do know it is I'm not sure you can tell but yeah Scribblicious I do have some just regular HB and 8B pencils in there. I have some regular HB number two, just yeah, HB, HB number two, yeah, HB number two and HB. I think I have some others in there. Some of them are darker than usual. I have a bunch of pens, including my lovely uh, fountain pen, some whiteboard pens for my whiteboard some more twistable uh little cray uh crayons colour pencils my crayola pencils and a bunch of other pens and some scissors and my oil pastels so yeah i love crayola pencils even though i don't have like the full pack i basically have not the whole pack i literally found them so yep i have the baskets i spent loads of time just on my baskets oh i need to get into the rest of this okay let's quickly put all this away before we get too long and not go into enough detail on the others because i'm only alive 14 minutes so right let's just put that up there okay Right, next we have this box, I'm just going to go through this because it's awesome. And here we have all my erasers, or well, most of them. And then micro ones, so... And then here we have this little colored pencil here. I'm just going to put up there, and my lovely 
instead of a single shot mirror. I have a big one downstairs. Um, I have my serving book, some, I think, I don't know if these are non toxic or not, so I don't use them very much. Um, liquid stickers, I've got some watercolored pen, uh, paints here. For some reason, I love watercolour paints more than regular paints. I just love the way these ones go on, or it's just technically I'm um, actually using losing a brown. But that was a good one, it was almost finished anyway. I have a bunch of sand in here. Here's a pack of orange sand. I have a bunch of different colours. Notebooks and extra pens and like stickers in there. There's just a bunch of extra stuff. And then this box is decorated. It's just basically got, let's see, I'll take this out. Literally, there's nothing really in there to show. All there is. There's a few pens and pencils. Got extra, like backup ones, just like in case if I need an extra white pencil or anything. Because I do have some white pencils on in here and in some of these, so I don't really need those. And then I have a bunch of stuff in the back. I'm not sure you can see, but I do have some sticky notes and blue tack. Um, of course, I've got my colour switches book over there and some notes. I do have my sticker book in my book area, so I'm not going to show you that. But in this bag, I just have a bunch of junk, um, an extra sketchbook, the lid, a pencil case, and loads of stuff are in the bottom, and some elastics. Not from my loom band area, but I just picked some up just to try a pencil together, so yeah. Um, those are not for my loom bats that are in there. So that is my art supply collection video. I probably have a load of stuff like laying around the house. Oh, I just forgot. I will want to do a video, but not obviously. It's probably going to be on my like, different channel, but um, these are going to be on my desk. So I just need to put that on there. So I hope you guys enjoy. Give a like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.